What's smacking? Real Michael Rose back with another video. This is Elimination Chamber. This is part five. We have Booker T taking on Roman Reigns. The winner of this match will most likely, it, barring anything, any pay-per-view that happens in March, will be most likely heading into WrestleMania as the world heavyweight champion and will be facing Triple H. Will Roman Reigns continue his trilogy? end his trilogy against Triple H and face him at Wrestlemania or will Booker T go in Wrestlemania as champion and face Triple H and get his rematch against Triple H when he used to face him at Wrestlemania 19 this time he's the champion though and end up beating Triple H but uh, we gotta wait and see what happens with that and then part 6 will be this main event with Rob Van Dam, The Miz, Kevin Owens, Eddie Guerrero, AJ Styles, and Big E. The winner of this match will be going to WrestleMania to face the WWE Champion, which might be Seth Rollins, um, barring anything that happens uh, on March. But uh, that being said, we're going to get into this part. It's part five, Booker T versus Roman Reigns. Let's go. Let's get it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the World Heavyweight Championship! Here comes the two-time, two-time Hall of Famer! A truly dominant superstar all the way back to his debut in WCW. Yeah, one of the all-time greats both in singles and the tag team divisions. The Tribal Chief has arrived. He's the first ever undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Well, here is the merciless leader of the bloodline. Yeah, you could make the argument that the bloodline is perhaps the most dominant group in the history of WWE. I think you're right, Saxton. Roman put his entire family on his back and has since pushed them all to incredible heights. He's achieved things that most only dream of. Just piles of championships. He made the long climb up the mountain and shoved everybody else off of it. By the looks of things, Roman Reigns is ready to continue his unparalleled domination. Now we get into the pre-match introductions. Introducing the challenger from Houston, Texas, weighing in at 251 pounds, Booker T. And his opponent from Pensacola, Florida, 
Weighing in at 265 pounds, he is the World Heavyweight Champion, Roman Reigns! The challenger not taking their eyes off the championship. And the champ is staring daggers right back at the opposition. Both people in this matchup have only fought each other leading up to this match twice and in those two times uh Booker T won one matchup and I'm pretty sure Roman won one matchup so this this is basically the the matchup to end all matchups right here you know guys I think you could easily fool yourself into just seeing Booker T as the friendly fashion knee strikes to start the match by Roman when Book climbs into the ring he's a very serious competitor who you shouldn't underestimate I agree completely Michael Booker T is just as savvy a superstar today as he ever was he has that veteran edge that instantly levels the nice reversal by Booker T has just about seen and done it all tonight he aims to add but Booker T is definitely has his hands full he got the so he has to worry about it at ringside. Reigns, the embodiment of greatness on a different level. The epitome of absolute dominance from the moment he sets foot in the venue. Goodness gracious. You can feel the resentment building with each stop there. Enough already. Oh, no. Nice stomps by over. Roman Reigns. Vicious stomps to the hand. You have to imagine the disdain it takes to repeatedly stop someone like that. Solid punch. And a punch the to the head. Shaken. A Booker T. Ah, oh, what a smash! That is just insulting. Slamming his head into the mat. Here's a pin for the title. And the champion goes for the cover and only gets a one count. Two. He clearly has no intention of staying down. Vicious right forearm. Oh, did you Club to the that? back by Brooker T. Hammerlock applied. Hammerlock. Back suplex. Goes for the cover. Only gets on one count again. Still has a ways to go. Springboard cross body, but he misses. Roman going for the guillotine already. And Booker T getting out of it almost immediately. Incredible. Irish whip into the ropes. Braun smash misses. Roman crabs onto the ropes there. Throws him into the corner. Superman punch. Usually followed up by the spear. Roman with the cover. One, two. And Brooker had to use resiliency there. Oh, Jimmy getting him up. Suicide dive by Roman. I've never seen that before. What started out a few short weeks ago with a few choice words has turned into an all-out blood feud between them. This is a level of aggression that few take it to, but when they do, it's all-out war. And one more reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. I believe Roman thinks that he has bragging rights against Triple H because he's beat him a good amount of times. But Triple H has beat Roman in the past as well. So, I don't think Roman is scared of Triple H by any means. But, uh, I think he would rather face somebody else. Or free at eight. Both men get back in the ring. Almost simultaneously. At eight. Oh, Irish whip, pullback attack, reversed by Booker. Another whip to the back by Booker. And a leg snap by Booker T. Now a reversal by Roman. Nice counter into a dragon screw. And now a reversal by Booker. And Roman rolling out of the ring there. Now I like what was happening. Series of chops. Oh, and almost hits him with a punch. But Roman with the reversal there. 
look at a torch of their opponent. Uh oh, this isn't targeting the arm of Booker T. Cuts him off. Lauren says steel steps. And Jimmy just cheering on Roman. It's getting rather close to Booker T there. Referee at seven. Oh, uh, Roman is satisfied with getting a count out victory. Oh, no, he's not. Get him back out there. Oh, overhead. Back suplex. To Booker. And now, Flapjack. As Roman is taking back control of this matchup, he's, he is basically dominating this match. Big a boot. Referee at six. Looks like both men are going to get themselves in the ring. Oh, no. Booker throws Roman into the ring. Oh, schoolboy into the power bomb. Sit out power bomb by Roman. Irish whip by Booker as Booker gets back up. And he tried to copy the Superman punch into the spear by Roman, but he doesn't get it. Now after the flapjack, Roman setting him up for the Superman punch, but no, we can't get the Superman punch spear combo. And now Booker got him with the snake eyes. And now going for it, the scissors kick. But Roman right on the rope break. And Booker turns him over, stomps on his head. And going to the top rope. Could he be thinking elbow drop? Yes, and he connects. And now Booker T tried to go for another scissors kick, but he gets reversed. And he hits him with an insiguri and does a spin rooney And now he does a back suit, back elbow. He's looking to completely render this leg. Oh, some full of leg snap. Leg snap, very effective. A beat down on the big dog. Reigns has to turn the tide quickly. Ahead of the table, what does he have to answer back? He's getting beat up right now by Booker T. And look at from back suplex. And the effects of this match able to be shaken. Back elbow. Booker T there. Yeah, you get the sense Booker T's tapping into another level here, and it could pay off. Uh oh. What a cross body. Slingshot cross body taking out Roman Reigns. Going for broke, and it pays off. Got him, son. Soul kick to the gut. And now a power bomb. And Booker T is having his way right now. An unrelenting Booker T here. Uh oh. Booker T tried to go for the arm wrench in DDC, but it gets reversed. And a haymaker by Roman. Now Roman getting reversed by Booker. Referee at seven. And another counter. Referee at eight. Now it looks like both men might be getting back in the ring. No, Roman stops the count. Doesn't allow Booker to get into the ring though. Now Booker tosses Roman and he's back to the top rope now. Another diving elbow drop. Going back to the top rope. Would he be going for the Houston hangover? Houston hangover, but he misses. Now a vertical suplex. Oh, tried to go for the bookend, but it gets reversed. And then he tried to go for the Harlem sidekick, but Roman catches him into a crucifix power bomb. There's some power behind that punch. Stun gun. 
Booker pops up to his feet, but he gets caught in the sleeper hole by Roman. Will Booker T tap out here? He is fading quickly, but Roman is not. Doesn't have it. Doesn't look like he got it in locked. Hard enough for Booker T to submit there. Oh, forearm misses by Booker. Still trying to get his wits about him. He just got out of a sleeper hole there. Jumping clothesline and now going for the cover on Roman. Rope break. Add wrench by Booker. Tosses his head down. Now going for the arm bar stretch. Stomp to the face. Almost stomps on his head, but Roman reverses it. Roman with a power slam. And now Roman setting up for the spear. This could be it. Spear. Cover on Booker one. But Booker getting the rope break there. Roman had bad ring presence on that occasion. Booker was smart enough to get the rope break. Looking wobbly in the corner. Irish whip into the other corner by Roman. And a Superman punch. Which usually follows up by the spear. And he gets the spear. Cover on Booker. One, two, three. Roman Reigns holds on to the title. Here is your winner. And still, World Heavyweight Champion, Roman Reigns. And if you're getting a victory like that, you got to be feeling pretty good about yourself. You know, after that match, I think even I could take on Booker T. That is, if I wasn't so dedicated to my career as a broadcast journalist. Would you stop? <laughs> But yes, Roman Reigns retains his championship here tonight. But uh, with that being said, that's going to do it for part five. That is part five. Next part, last part, is the Elimination Chamber match. I can't wait to see what happens in this match. But with that being said, just remember health and prosperity, peace and tranquility. Just remember those four things and everything will be splendid. Also remember to be a catch and not a follower. Plus be patient, stay focused is the best way to stay afloat. And remember you are the champion of your world, champion of your journey. However you dictate your world, this house can play out for you, whether good or bad. Just remember that and I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching guys and have a good day, evening or night, whatever time you end up watching this on your YouTube screen and I'll catch you later. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more amazing content like this. And share this to any of your friends who are interested in wrestling or anything of that relation. And with that being said, Real Michael Rose will see you in part six. Sayonara for now. See you soon.